people and welcome back to another hardware review and we are back with Aspire. This time we're looking at the Finex 80 watt kit. Yes, yeah, single 18650. Comes with a Finex pod tank. Takes the BP coils and it's got some funky designs. Well, let's get this review on the road and we all know how it goes. This is the box. That is everything you do get in the box and that was the box. So the Finex or Finex. 80 watt kit. There we go. Now, when this first when I first got this out of the box, you see all these like sort of splatter marks on there. I thought I'd drop some e-liquid on it, or somebody had done it in the factory before it actually got sent out to me. But it's not. It's actually the pattern. And there is a nice red one like this as well. I will show you all the different colours and designs you can get when we go back up on top. So the pod tank itself, the Finex pod tank. Now this is TPD compliant, so this is the two mil. You can also get it in a four mil. This is nylon PA12 food grade and it's heat resistant. Yes, that wasn't easy for me to say. Now it is a 510 drip tip, interchangeable if you have got your own. And the way this works is it is a bottom fill. So what you do is you basically take it off like that and there you go. So you've got your bottom and that is where your airflow is. I'll show you that in a second. Like I said, it is a bottom airflow. So you just pop that off like that. Nice big juice well in there. No problem with air locks or anything like that. It just pushes down and it goes flat. You've got all your contacts there. Very, very simple to fit your coil in. It's just a push fit. Pushes in. Like so. And then that just basically sits onto your coil. It goes into there. You've got your contacts in there. And then that just sits on there like so. And then when you're ready to fill it, you just pull it off. Obviously, that's still connected to the t uh, to your mod. You do that and then just fill it from the bottom. Very, very simple. I've had no problems, no leaking or anything like that. Let's have a little look at the bottom. So where you'll be able to see that, you've got like all your contacts where your actual coil's sitting in. So then you've got your airflow on the side. So the airflow's coming underneath and underneath there and then go into your coil, up and onto your coil. Is adjustable, does lock off and it is mirrored on either side. If you just have a little look at the bottom, it does say it's the Finex kite marks. Don't vape in the bin. Aspire, made in China, it's a gold-plated, non-adjustable 510, and it is slightly protruding. There we go. That's all that good stuff. Right, the coils itself. Now, these come with a 0.17 ohm mesh coil. That's best between 45 and 55 watts. That's in the kit. You also get a 0.3 ohm, if I can get this out, a 0.3 ohm mesh coil. That's best between 30 and 40 watts. Now, that's in the kit, and this is this this what. This is this one, easy for me to say. So these are the BP coils. Now, also on these BP coils, you can get a 0.6 ohm, which is best between 15 and 25 watts. You can also get a 1 ohm coil, which is best between 10 and 16. And you can also get an RBA deck as well. Now, we'll talk a little bit more about these coils. The coils that come with it, no problem with the flavour or anything like that. Um, I think it's just with it being an 18650. I would have liked to have maybe seen the 0.3 and the 0.6 come in the kit instead of the 0.17 and 0.3. So the mod, like I said, I've got this sort of like splatter effect to it. Uh, there is loads of different colours. And then you've got this like silicon on the back. You can't really see it that much with, with mine being black. But you've got this silicon on the back. And it is, and we've got to fit it in. It is nice and ergonomical in your hand. It does fit really, really nice. It's one of them type of mods that are built for that grip sort of feel. Nice bit of a thumb fire. You can finger fire it as well, but to me it doesn't feel as comfortable. I'm a bit of a thumb fire. Fire. Rah, 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 rah. You've got your 510 connection, spring loaded 510. The biggest atty that you're going to be able to fit on there is roughly a 27 millimeter. Just sort of like fall off at the back. On the sides, obviously, it tells you it's Phoenix. It's got a nice feel to it. 
really nice feel. I'm not quite sure what it's actually made out of. Maybe zinc alloy. Like I said, you've got this silica there, which is like nice, nice and soft feel to it. The spire here, you've got like that sort of grip feel to it. On the bottom, you've got your kite marks. Don't vape in a bin. And then you've got your battery door. I'm going to be totally honest with you right at the beginning. I'm not a big fan of these battery doors on any mod, if I'm totally honest with you. They're just a bit fiddly. And this one's got quite long threads. Which is obviously good for, you know, it's not going to just come off or anything like that. But it is a little bit hard with that sort of like grip that they've got on it. At the bottom, you've got your plus. You might be able to see that. You might not be able to. In white with a, a red cross. And then on the bottom, there isn't a minus. So I would have liked to have seen a minus on there. 18650, slide it in. Again, I keep saying this. I would have loved to have seen this as a 21700. Now... You can see this sort of thing as you're trying to get it in and make sure you're getting these threads. Now, this went on not too bad then. But yeah, I, it's not just this one. It's just all of them that are like this. I don't know what your thought. Let me know down in the comments whether you like these type of battery doors. I think they're a lot better than them, the ones that have, like, the hinge because eventually they're going to break. But... So, the front of your mod. There we go. You've got your fire button at the top. It's a nice big fire button. Nice and clicky. I've had no problem with jankiness with the buttons or anything like that. It does look like the button's connected to the screen, but it's slightly raised above it. You've got your screen here. It is a bit of a fingerprint magnet, as you can see. You've then got your buttons. That is your uh, menu button and also your select button. You've got your plus, your minus, and your Type-C charging and firmware upgrade. I do recommend you charge your batteries in an external charger, but if you need to, caught on the go, you've got Type-C charging. I love the look of these buttons. They look like a box. I don't know if that's anything to do with the name or if it's if, even if they've done it on purpose, but it does look like a box. I do like that. Now, it is five clicks on, five clicks off. Now, because of these lights, it does look a little bit dim, but I've had no problem at all outside with this you can see it perfectly now this is a very busy screen and I've just started to have to wear glasses so at the bottom here where you've got your volts your resistance and amps it is a little bit hard to see it's a little bit small now at the top you've got your battery indicator and you've also got the percentage of your battery you've got your lock icon you've then got what mode you've got it in either way we've got it in wattage or if you've got it in voltage or temperature control You've then got, again, wattage, or if you've got it in voltage, that's where you can adjust it. Below it, you've got your volts, your resistance, your amps, and then underneath that, you have got your puff counter. Now, remember, 75 watts, people. Remember, 75 watts. Now, like I told you, you've got your mode key or your select key or your menu key. There we go. And it takes you in to the menu. Now, you've got mode, color, because you can change the color of your screens. Yeah, the brightness, again, that changes the brightness of your screen. And if we just go again down to the bottom, you've then got exit. So if we go back now to select it, it is the mode button or the select button. And in there, it shows you that you've got auto, you've got wattage, voltage, bypass, temperature control, and curves. Now, the auto, if we just go back up, we was in wattage. Now, the auto, what that basically does is it selects or it reads the resistance and gives you the best wattage, and it won't let you go above it. So if you remember, I said to you, remember 75 watts. Again, use the select button to select it, and it takes it down to 55 watts. It will also tell you here, it says best between 45 and 55 watts. And that, and then it won't let you go above that. So if you try to scroll above it, it'll tell you that you're on max power. I think that's a really good idea for people who are maybe just starting out and they don't want to burn the coil out. Or if you haven't locked your buttons and you're about and you don't see that it's gone up to 80 watts and you, you take a draw on it and then bang, you burnt your coil out. Now to get back into your menu, just hold, hold do you see how it just fades away and then comes back again? I really do like that. Um, hold in your mode button or your menu button. Again, select mode. You've then got your wattage which is at 75 watts. Now this goes up in 0.5 watt increments when you press it, but if you hold it in, it'll go in one watt increments all the way up to 80 watts and then round robins to one watt. And once it gets going, it does shift. There we go. Hold the menu back in, go into mode. You've got your voltage. Now the voltage on this goes between uh, 0.5 and 8.4 volts. You've then got your bypass. You've then got your temperature control. You've then got your curves, 
and then back up to your auto. Back into the menu, you've got your colours. I think there's five different colours on this. I selected green because it was uh, easy to see. And again, you just press the menu button and it'll select it. Back to colours because I want it back to green so I can see it. <laughs> there we are. I do like the fact that you can change the colours on it. I know it's a bit of a gimmick. Some people aren't bothered about it, but I quite like it. Uh, back into the menu. You've then got your brightness of your screen. If you wanted to save your battery. There you go. It just moves up and down. Press your mode button, you back out. And then the only thing that you've got left then is your exit. And then if you want to lock the device, like I showed you before, we have got that little lock icon at the top. One, two, three. Locks the device. Can't move the buttons, but you can still fire it. One, two, three. And it unlocks it. Now, to clear your puff counter, you hold your fire button and the plus button. And it clears your puff counter. So, the Finex 80 watt kit from Aspire. What do we reckon? Well, let's go top to bottom like we normally do. We'll start off with the pod tank itself. 510 drip tip, interchangeable if you've got your own, you can put it on there. This one's nice and comfortable, I've had no problem with it. This is PA12, uh, food grade, and it's also heat resistant. This is the 2mm, obviously TPD compliant. You can get a 4mm for this, and I would suggest going to look for it as well, because you do fill this up quite often. That's nothing to do with Aspire, that's obviously to do with the EU and the UK. So I am hoping with us coming out of the EU, they do look at the tank size. And let's have them back, them the, the, the big tanks. Because when you're down to 2 mil, you're filling it constantly. Uh, it is a bottom fill, something a little bit different. So as you've got your tank on there, you just pull that off, like so. Now, I've had no problem with leaking um, or anything like that from it. And you've got your little rubber bung. Open that up. Nice big port on there. No airlocks or anything like that. And then it just slips back down again. You have got your adjustable airflow on the side. You can really dial that in to a restricted direct lung mirrored on either side. Now, the two coils that you get with this is a 0.17 ohm coil. That's best between 45 and 55 watts. You then get a 0.3 ohm coil, and that's best between 30 and 40 watts. Now, with these BP coils, you can also get a 0.6 ohm. That's best between 15 and 25 watts. And you can also get a 1 ohm coil. That's best between 10 and 16. You can also get an RBA section for this. Yes. Now let's talk a little bit more about the coils before we get onto the flavour in the clouds. Now with it being a 0.17 ohm mesh coil, and like I said, best between 45 and 55 watts, you've got an 18650 in there, and you're going up to 80 watts. You're not getting that much battery life out of it. Three to five hours, depending on how you actually vape. Again, with the 0.3, again you're not getting that, you're getting a bit more extended battery life out of that, but that's obviously between 30 and 40 watts. Now, what I would have liked to have seen them do is, I would have liked to have seen them put in the 0.3 and also the 0.6, so you've got 15 to 25. Gives you that extra little bit of battery life, and then you're not like going all the way down to the 1 ohm, but you're sort of like giving a bit of leeway, and if people did want the, one point, uh, the 0.17 ohm coils, they can go and buy them. What about the flavor? What about the clouds? We've got this at 55 watt. The airflow is wide open. Clouds for days. This is the 0.17 ohm coil. Can't fault the flavor on it at all. The flavor is absolutely banging. Getting a really nice direct alum. Now, what I do like about this as well is if you dial it in sort of to about there, I don't know if you can actually see that on camera. Yeah, you can just see. Dial it into about there. You're getting a really nice restricted direct alum. Clouds for days, and like I said, really nice flavor. But like I said, with it being a 2 mil tank and you're using that 0.17 ohm, you're absolutely going through juice. You're constantly filling it up. It's not a problem because it is very easy to fill up. But like I said, I would have liked to have seen them put in the 0.3 ohm and also the 0.6. You would have got a bit better battery life out of it. 
The mod itself, I love the design. I did say to you at the beginning, mine's got like sort of the, the mystery black this one's called. I will put all the different uh, designs you can get up around me. There is some really nice designs to it. You've got that silicone back to it. Feels really comfortable in your hand. We fit it in every time. It is ergonomical. It's built like that. It's one of them mods that just fit lovely. Fits really nice for the thumb fire. No jankiness on the buttons or anything like that. I did mention the battery door. Now, this is sort of like a personal thing. Now, when you do get these battery ones like this, without that little flap that you get to undo it, you've got to dig your fingers in. Now, I've got to say, the threads on this, no problem with that at all. So, like I said, it's a bit more of a personal preference. The screen, even though it did look a little bit dull um, under the cameras when we did the up and close, it is quite a nice, vibrant screen. I had no problem when I've been outside. It is a little bit of a, a, a busy screen, shall we say. Now, when you're looking at the, the volts, the resistance and the amps, it is a little bit small. I did tell you that I have just started wearing glasses, so I'm having to do that old man thing, you know, when you start sticking your head right back to look at stuff. But other people might find it that they can see it okay, but it is a little bit hard to see. I'm doing that sort of thing, like when you do that. You've got everything you want on here. Very, very simple to get into the menu. You've got your menu button at the top. You just press that. You've got your modes all in one place. So you've got your auto, which detects your resistance, gives you the best wattage, and also tells you the best wattage. I do like that. You've then got your normal wattage, you've got your voltage, your bypass, your temperature control, and you've also got your curves. So you've got everything on there. It's catering for everybody. You could change the colour of the screen. I quite like the look of the green on there. Flat cap would quite like that. You've got, low, I think, five colours that are on there. Change the brightness. Easy to lock, three clicks. Yeah, the, the, the whole part of the menu of it, very, very simple. Type-C charging, if you're caught on the go, and firmware upgrade, always nice to see Type-C charging. Yeah, all in all, I quite like that. There is a couple of things I would have changed on it, which would have been maybe making the screen a little bit different with the, so you can see it a little bit more. Change the battery door. And change the coils. That's all I really would do with it. Not change the BP coils itself, but the selection that you actually do get in the packaging. I think it'd be more geared up for the, the, the sort of mouth-to-lung or the restricted direct-to-lung people. Especially with you being able to get the RBA section for it. I think it'd really come into its own when you've got that RBA section on there. Vaping this at 20 watts or something like that, you're going to have battery for days. Like I said, you can't beat the flavour from it. Really good flavour. Yeah. All in all, quite like it. The Finex 80 watt kit from Aspire. Big shout out to Aspire for sending this out for review. You know how it goes, people. If you like the review, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the subscribe buttons in the corner. Give it a little press to give us that new magic number. I'm on the way to 3K, people. We're not far off it. So press that subscribe button. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go and hit me up. If you'd like to join the madness, that is little bro and support the channel. Patreon down below. Get your name at the front like all them wonderful, wonderful people. And one last thing to say. Keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8 p.m. every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell, and we'll catch you later.